Maybe somebody's going to sit there and say that Neil Blender had the greatest fronts in Denver. Earlier. So or maybe it's Steve Caballero. Maybe it's John Tex Gibson. Tell, he, he doesn't spend much time at home. <laughs> maybe it's Mike fucking Smith. Yeah, who did it best? I'm your host, Jeff Grasso. Welcome back. This is The Letters. <laughs> best like Muhammad Ali did it best so we're, do we're doing an episode that's basically like who did it best like we just want to show an episode of like like here's Neil Blender's Andrick you can't face not as this bash up Bert across the fucking top of the car like it, it's more like just like tricks that stand out like fuck man like like an Oster's G turns by far are the best G turns ever done just as an example it's a hard one Okay, I'd say like Scott Oster backside slash in a pool. Nice. That's a good one. I agree with that one. It's subjective. Skateboarding is subjective. The, I don't know. It's hard, man. Like looking at a skater and what he's doing is kind of like looking at, to me, it's kind of like listening to a song or looking at a painting or a piece of art or something. Like there's just something about it that speaks to you. You know, like it's so hard. You can say things like it's the tricks they do. It's their style. It's their personality. It's like how they like, they push or how they did this one thing or whatever but I mean really it's just it, it's all about the feeling that a, a person gives you when you watch this game. I didn't learn how to skate overnight I started in the beginning took it one step at a time Street survival, that's what it's all about. So somebody's gonna go, man, I really like Gonza's front side ollies. And another person's gonna go, fuck that, man, I like Grant Taylor's. And then someone else is gonna come from left field and go, but Remy Stratton, man, Remy Stratton. Jason Lee and then Jason Jesse, both of them. Jason Jesse, obviously. And then I'm gonna step in and go, yeah, but don't forget the fucking kids, man, because welcome to Jimmy Wilkins' time. Here's Jimmy Wilkins. And then somebody's gonna come in and fucking throw in a Steve Bailey. Or a fucking Steve Clare. And pretty soon, you're pretty fucking, like, neck deep in fucking fronts and ollies. And I, I don't know, it's subjective, man. Not a street ollie in the beginning, right? Because not a ollie the fucking cow. Like, when not a ollie the cow, it stayed for like three years. Steve Caballero had a mean backside bonus and he Stretched made it up. It out. It's a sick one. Monty Nolder. Nolder. Jesus Christ. Monty Nolder. Fuck on my fuck head here. Kick flips, I always think Keith Kirchhardt. Like, just. Backside flips, Keith also. I thought this guy, Ed Natalin, who basically pioneered the gorilla grip, which is where you wrap your toes around the board and pick it up, kind of like a gorilla would if the gorilla could. Uh, oh, Ed Natalin was one of the guys, he was a showman as well. When I watch Grant skate, I'm like, that's, that is, that seems like the, the, the greatest gift, you know, like, oh man, like, if I could just do that for a day. Oh bullshit, there are fucking rules. Everybody wants to say there are no fucking rules. There are fucking rules. Like, you can't just fucking go wafting off some fucking early grab fucking back there and expect to be cool. No, can't do it. My favorite tricks on a skateboard is Keenan Melton switch flip over the table. The way he did that, you, there's, you could never, you couldn't do it any better. Of course, Cardiel. <laughs> I know him from the east to wester, Skateboarder is Coco Santiago. Best dude you wouldn't think was the best dude. There's that picture of a, where Nottis is 
Either Nottis is wall riding over Mark or Mark's wall riding over Nottis. Uh, one of my favorite skate graphics is obviously the Nottis. Fucking with all the fucking bodies hanging and shit and the baby hanging. You know, the with the devil and shit, the whatever. So off my radar was Jeff Kendall. He had the graffiti graphic and then he also had the, the, the pumpkin head. I fucking loved it. Oh, dude, my favorite skater. My favorite skater. Oh my God, wait a minute. Oh, uh, Phil Shaw, straight up. That was my favorite skater ever. Now that I remember, pff, I don't, I'm an idiot. How do I? Phil Shaw was my favorite skater. Okay, well, backside Ollie, Alan Peterson. I've seen that shit in real life, and it was everything that you want it to be, like, right there. Front side? Oh, I don't know, like, like Donnie Barley? Donnie Barley's got a good one. I really liked Donnie Barley when I was a kid. And Lucero had a mean fucking fake Yali. Yeah, he and did. And you had a mean fake Yali, so it was kind of like the, who's got a higher fake Yali thing, which, Pound for pound, I'm going with Kevin. I'm sorry, John. I've always heard that I made that up. Nobody else ever saw anybody else do it. And so that's what I've been hearing my whole entire life. You made up the fake up. Then the, the half, well, the half cab's yours. That's straight up yours. Yeah. So and I got that from cab. So that was kind of awesome to hear that, you know? like. But I never got a shoe. The, the half stop never came out. <laughs> Kevin Staub on his final run. Yeah, then there's the blunt, the mute blunt. That's fucking you too. So, Eddie Radigi did 180 once, mm -hmm. I believe. Yes, he did. And I don't know. I spent six weeks on an eight foot high ramp in Arizona with PVC coping, just going up, flipping over onto my head. I just knew it was possible. I don't know. I think probably the best jump ramper was like Ollie off the jump ramp is Guerrero. Is all in. Distance and height. If I was to say like Sheffy's back lip, like okay, but you know, like everyone's seen it. Not, I don't know, it just doesn't even really doesn't matter. But see, that's the thing. Everybody has them. Right now, I'd have to say uh, Ronnie Sandoval, just because he's just amazing to watch, and he's just like he's just I don't know, why. He just came from the from the past and future. I don't know where he came from. He just like, he skates like, uh, the my favorite kind of skating right now is that dude. Tony T's just natural ability to stand on a fucking skateboard and just flow and make it always and look cool doing it. Like long flowing hair, shit, I wanna fuck him. Todd Congelier, all, this, all the Liberty shit, with the bear and the five year plan, all his stuff. I like Pusshead a lot, everyone did. Everything Ray Barbie did on Flat Ground was the best. Like, there was, he, Ray didn't even have competition back then. Like, that was the best. Like, all no comply variations of Ray was just, there's no, there's no, Ray had no competition at the time. He's the absolute best at that. Wade was fucking badass. Like, on every fucking level. Dude could ride vert, dude could ride street, fucking mini ramp, champ. There's a photo of Christian Soy doing it, quite possibly the Smithford. second sad best sad plant photo I've ever seen. Ooh. On a ramp that Dressen said you built. Yep, me and my friends, Richard and Hector. That, yeah. That <laughs> ramp was badass. I went and rode that ramp. And oh, really? Like, Sick. Fuck yeah. As the skate session, which actually was the demo, went on, Christian just started losing clothes. <laughs> and pretty soon he was just like in boxers, just fucking, just flying off that ramp over that wall, just. Ska! And yeah. fucking, Dude. yeah, the crowd go Insane. crazy. And it was just like, and the sun set in Venice. Yeah. And I was like, I see why they do this. This is fucking rad. Front board, I always think Arta. T. 
T.A. obviously was one of my guys that I really kind of liked the way he skated and approached things. Tom Kowalski, I'd say, was the best at doing things completely different than anyone else. Yeah. I'll say Mike, Mike Carroll is my favorite skater. I think he has like the sickest style. Dude, Jess, Jesse's part where he skates that fucked up ramp in Venice, he fucking slaughters it. Like he's just going for it and that ramp is fucked. And you know there's like some fucking shenanigans afoot, like f like five feet away from the ramp. And the best is Mark Gonzalez. The best. He's he's Yoda, whether he knows it or not. Thanks for watching the letters, Mickey Alba. Rock shuffle in the 12 bowl. What else do you need to know? Go skate. Go skateboard. Put it down. Turn it off. Get out there. I hope this turned you on. I hope you're hyped. Go skateboard. It's what we're here for. Ride. Ride the wild fucking pony. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Some people brought up some stuff. It was pretty rad, we could probably riff off that. And then maybe I'll come up with a better closer.